بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين This series of videos is a translation of a series of videos recorded in Arabic. The link to the original video is in the description below. In this video, we will learn how to distinguish between the pronunciation of the letter يا and الألف المقصورة. Now look closely at these variations of this letter here. The letter يا is one that has any of these diacritical marks as shown here in blue or green. فتحة ضمة كسرة تنوين whether it be تنوين with فتح ضم or كسر سكون or شدة. We will talk about تنوين and شدة in separate lessons later inshallah. As for these two letters shown in red, we will get to them in a minute inshallah. Now let's practice what we just explained. This letter here has a fatha, therefore it is a letter ya, pronounced ya. To read this word, it is hu da ya. Hu da ya. In this word, this letter has a kasra, therefore pronounced yi. Yi. Had. Yi. Had yi. And here, this letter has a lamma, therefore yu. Yu. Had yu. Had yu. For this word, u, li, ya. In this example, the letter ya has a sukun. Therefore, this last syllable here is tay. Tay. To read the word the wa tay. The wa tay. In this word, khiz yun. Khiz yun. Now for this letter, you can see that it has no diacritical marks, no fatha, lamma, kasra, sukun, tanween, or shadda. Therefore, this letter is sometimes pronounced like an alif and sometimes like a ya. So how do we know if it is an alif or a ya? Let's find out. The ya in this word has no diacritical marks, so we look at the letter before this ya. It has a kasra. Therefore, this letter is pronounced as a ya, and this syllable is pronounced di, ya, di, ya, di. In this example, the ya also has no diacritical marks, so we look at the letter before it. It has a fatha. Therefore, this ya is called alif maqsura and is pronounced as an alif. This syllable is pronounced sa yan sa yan sa yan sa In this word the ya has a dagger alif or a superscript alif This dagger alif makes the ya an alif maqsura and it is pronounced as an alif ba لا بلا. Therefore, the letter يا in the Quran is pronounced as a يا if it has any of the diacritical marks فتحة ضمة كسرة تنوين سكون or شدة. If it does not have any diacritical marks, we consider the preceding letter. If the letter before this يا has a كسرة, the يا is pronounced as a يا. And if it has a fatha, then the ya is an alif.